Okay, we're gonna watch a task of the very first ROM hack that I ever made, and it is not good. And it was never intended to be beaten without save states. Even look at my title, Super Mario and the Final Kaizo Bros 3. The A, I don't know, I couldn't get the A big, so I added a smiley face, it was weird. This was before Mario Maker, I think. It says 1988 though, it says 1988. As you can see, my artistic abilities were not quite there yet. First level. Awful already. But it's a task, so it's crazy. <laughs> you have to get the star because you have to kill that guy and you have to keep your mushroom, right? I put the plant there. You need the star to kill the plant and keep your mushroom to break these blocks. But the tasser just did that anyways. You would definitely play this. You'd have to use save states. This level is ass. Oh my god, what a- that's so horrible. Looks like a well done hack. Hey, for the time, for the time it was pretty well done. This is my favorite level with my favorite trick in it. But the Tasser doesn't need it. What? What? Look at this. Wall jump and then what? Yo, Tampa is back at it again, dude. Those map movements too? I remember this. You had to get the leaf and then you had to get P-Speed. Then you had the tail swipe. I think I used the turtle shell. Oh, what a clip. And then another clip. That was actually a mandatory clip in the hack too. Oh my god. And here's another, yeah, another mandatory clip. You see what I did there? Mario, thank goodness. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on, come on. It, I know it's so stupid, but I love it. So I give the player a lot of one-ups here. I was, hey, I was generous to give the one-ups, okay? Because you probably died a lot. Nice epic boss battle here. What the heck? Of course the Tasser gets off-screen wand grab. Mario, it's about time, took you long enough, take this stupid letter from the princess. Okay, what does the princess say? Nothing useful here. That's it. What's this level? God, man, these levels. I remember this. What? Yeah, dude, this level's sick. You have to do so much crap in this level. All right, what was level two? Oh, I remember this level, yeah. All the sand, oh, this crap, look at this. <laughs> this level's actually really cool to try and do. That, that is very cool. You gotta keep P-Speed with it. Miss the Spade card. I think the Spade card only gives you scores, like point, coins and scores. Yo, don't turn your back on the ghosts. Where the hell did I get these ideas from? Oh, you gotta keep the fireball going. And then, yeah, the clip. Yep. What? So the idea behind this is you're supposed to stomp him to get him to jump and then stomp on him when he jumps and then kill him at the end. You're not really supposed to keep your fire flower here. The sun level. Oh, I remember this. This is three suns, everyone. <laughs> the smiley face. Look out, Mario, all the suns. You're not supposed to- you're not supposed to be big Mario here. That's a lot of suns. It's a troll level. It's actually- it's kind of annoyingly hard. Alright, this level's insane. 
Not for Tampa though. The midair with wall jump. What? There is more to the level after or before that clip. So this level, I give you one Koopa to do the whole level with. You like clip the block? Hold on a sec, let me slow that down. The Koopa shell changes because there's the chest there. The chest is the uh, warp whistle that you have to use. Weird, man, that is so weird. When the warp whistle comes out of the chest there, you have to let it flash and go off the screen before you enter the pipe. If you enter the pipe, then you won't get it. So it's like a soft lock. There is an accidental soft lock in this hack. That's not a Koopa, that's a weird shape. Level three, that's all you get. Oh, I remember this level. Watch out for the Lava Lotus. Yeah, you, you gotta float over the top. Oh, the little speed strat there. Dude, I forget all of this. This is by far though. What? This is by far one of the hardest Mario 3 ROM hacks ever. If you did this whole game without save states, I would be insanely impressed. MFP good MFPR one. It's showing off Tompa, you don't need to do any of that stuff. What? What? You're not supposed to do any of that stuff. Yo, this level's nuts too. You get the super swim? Ah, the wall jump. Always wall jump, man. That's not exactly how that level's supposed to go, but it's still very good. Oh, this level. Okay, this level's really cool because you do it the exact same way that I do this level in the speed run. Check it out. It's how every, it's how everyone should do this level in the speed run. Jump there, jump there, jump over there, jump there. You run down there. You don't have to slide, but the task slides because it's faster. Yeah. Very nice. I remember making this hack. This hack was like, this hack's pretty important to me. Oh yeah, one of these levels. Oh, secret doorways. Yeah. Tompa knows where to go. What? Nice. Those are spikes on the ground. You can see when it flashes. You see how it flashes? This is what the spike tile looks like. If you ever see those in a hack with the lights off, you know those are spikes. Level five? Ooh, I remember this level. What? <laughs> well, unfortunately you will not get to see how that level's done. I mean, this level, this level needed like fast retries or this, this hack. So there's a P switch down there that you have to hit. You have to make sure, so at the start of this level, you have to make sure not to grab any of the coins because you need them as a walkway to come back, right? You hit the, you hit the POW and then you can use these guys as a walkway, grab the mushroom and then you can come back and then you can break the block and go in through here. And then I put a secret exit. So that, that exit is just simply a secret exit. Show off. The airships were like the hardest to mess with. So 
Same off-screen wand grab as before. These levels are weird. I feel like these levels are my most questionable levels. That level is so silly. Oh, this level is so weird. Yeah, dude, that's so sick. You're supposed to be small Mario for all of this, but if there's anyone watching from YouTube and wondering why I sound weird right now, it's because I have Invisalign, which is essentially like the invisible style of braces, I guess. So if I sound weird, that's why. What? Dude, I wonder if anyone who played this hack did those tricks. Yo, this part is fucked, man. All these Lakitu's. Yeah, you have to get a slide under or else it's like impossible. What? So again, you're not supposed to be big Mario. But Tompa doesn't care. Also, if anyone has amazing videos, like for me to react to, amazing tasks, amazing videos, please make sure to send them to me in Discord. That way we can like do lots of watch alongs. Okay, that is an intentional death right there because this block has not spawned yet. You need to die once in a level for the game to reload these blocks. It is so weird. It is so weird. Now it's there, you see? So I think everyone has to die here at least once, but I essentially made this ROM hack. Like there's no way you're not dying in this level anyways. So it's not, it's not a big deal. As long as you die somewhere in this world, it doesn't have to be in this level. Nice. GG, Tompa. Yeah, it's super weird. It's the way the game creators design like the big blocks. They're really messed up. We have to do the same thing in the, um, the Kaizo Mario Bros. 3 world record. <clears throat> Excuse me. This level was very passive, I remember. This was an easier level. This is one of the e This is the easiest level in the, in the hack. All right, World 4 airship. Oh, I sped it up because I'm nice. Yeah, look at this. Sped it up. Tompa, you're not supposed to go in there. I wonder how easy Tompa is making making this game look. I wonder if he's gonna get it. Ooh. I beat through this whole game once without save states, obviously, because I made it. It's a little bit easier for me after making it, but it's still stupid hard. What is this level? Oh yeah, you gotta preserve crazy P speed here, yep. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, okay, so that is definitely a cheese because you're not supposed to be big Mario. I pretty much make the player do everything small Mario. I remember that. And then it leads into the underground. Dude, so cool. Oh, it's so cool when the Tassers do that. Look at this. It's like you're pressing B so fast with the blocks that they actually don't slow you down at all. This is the first ROM hack that I ever made where Tompa is tassing it. Nice. Fire flowers. Wow, you're not supposed to do any of that. That's nuts. So you don't have to actually do this level. You don't have to do it because the bridge allows you to skip it. Warpless, not 100% run. 
You could technically do a, a 99% run. Again, not supposed to be Big Mario here. Tampa is just too cosmic brain. God, I miss this ROM hack. I remember where I was, like, in my life at this time. Like, how my life was going. But this level's stupid. So this is the Twisty Castle, but dark. And a little bit sneaky. There's some holes and gaps in the floor like that. And that. Ooh, a little pipe clip on the side. How does he get... Oh, he clips. Yep. Dude... Keeps the P-Speed, of course. Dude, some random-ass waterfall. Mandatory Jesus clip! Yes! I forced the Jesus clip. Yeah, dude, I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to make it mandatory. Random bridge in the clouds. Wow, so skip the fire flower. You had to do a very cool fire flower trick. Oh my god, this auto scroller, you guys aren't ready. Check this out. So every like 10 seconds, the auto scroller goes really fast. That's crazy. So yeah, I said it. I said it. Yeah, you have to do that when it scrolls. So I said it so that the auto scroll, it scrolls very fast. Oh no, this is the easiest hack in the game. Or it's in the, this is the easiest level in the hack. Yep, I remember. This is wild. This is way too silly. We're already done world five. Okay, so what? Tampa going very slow scares me. He's building up for something crazy. Come on, Tompa, you already have 99 lives. What what more do you need? Um, what? He definitely just ran right through that cannonball. Oh, what's the matter, Tompa? No fire flower. What? He almost died there. 99 coins and 99 lives. All right, world six. I don't remember a whole lot from this world. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. I made sure world six was kind of puzzly, uh, but I wasn't expecting this. I forgot. I, I remember now that, that the cheese there, yep. And then the clip. And then the mayhem. And then of course, Tompa with his weird clip. How does he clip through but duck avoid the damage? It's so weird. I don't understand that. It's crazy. Those are bouncy blocks, so you can really... If you touch them, they start bouncing you all over the place. I remember that. You gotta grab the turtle shell. Yeah, that level's weird. Very weird. Some levels are, like, super hard. Some are passive. There's only, like, two or three, like, really easy levels in this hack. There's only, like, two or three. This level has a super cheap potaboos in it because they're like, right? I show where they are though. I show where they are, but like, if you get bad here, on, if you get here on like a bad global timer, it's awful. Oh, you gotta go back though. Yeah, you need to damage boost, get the turtle shell. Yeah. Yo, know, this ROM hack I made, like, almost 10 years ago, okay? Do I force the clip in this one? I think I do. I show the P-meter arrow. Yeah, look at look at how nice I am. Look at this. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, but don't mess up. All right, you're good. You're lucky. Now, remember, that clip, not many people were doing that clip. Look at my World 6 design, man. My world designs are awful. Yep, you gotta do that. I remember that. I think that's... That is not... That is not vital to the strats. 
I remember you have to do that though. Yep. Dude, this level is hard. Look at this. Jesus, man. This level I remember is tough. What? Oh, he's using the ceiling. That's right, I forgot. Look at all the tiles in this level. I'm surprised this ROM hack even works. This, this breaks, this... This should not work. This should not work. There's too much shit all over the place. When I was making this, this ROM hack crashed a lot. I remember this level. It's supposed to be puzzles, but Tompa doesn't care. It's supposed to be like sequential and stuff like that. I think he clips right here. Yep. Not easy, man. He still gets early P speed. What a what a nutto, man. That's right. I didn't change this. I didn't change this level at all. How are you supposed to kill him? I can't remember. Oh, the, it's a hammer suit. You have to get through the whole level with a hammer suit. That's right. The block at the beginning of the level, it's for a hammer suit. Well, that's a great sign. The airship is just empty. <laughs> I'm so glad it's been a long time since I've seen this, this whole like hack. Cause like, this is crazy. Well, I mean, the level, like, every ROM hack is, like, altered levels, but the ideas and concepts used in all of the levels are my own. You can't really wipe away everything in the levels and then work on them from scratch. You kind of delete some things, make a trick, delete more things, make a trick. Mario 3 is not a game where you can just delete all the levels and then go into the level fresh. You could do that for levels individually on their own, but... I'm worried about how World 7 is. What is it? Let's see. Okay, it looks messed up. Nice, Tompa's actually gonna play the level. He probably would, well actually no, I don't think you can clip. I think I set it up so you can't clip at all. Yep, you gotta clip there. Yep, you gotta build P-Speed here, which is such a nightmare. Then you gotta fly up, yep, hit those blocks. I remember this level. This level sucks. Yep, fly up. That I was not expect. Oh my god. Yeah! Alright, that's pretty cool. Go, Tompa, go! Yep, and you have to get out of there with the power up. I remember that. That is nuts. How long did it take me to make that level? Jesus. This was years and years before Mini Kaizo. I made Mini Kaizo like three years ago or something. But this level's kind of cool, I think, if Tompa does it. Yeah. That's crazy. He's gotta wait. That's intentional. Yeah. I wonder if anyone playing this will miss that. I think only two or three people have beat this hack without save states. Oh, this level. Top is like, I don't need no Koopa, Mitch. Okay, you're definitely not supposed to do that. How rude of you, Tompa. What? Oh my god, this level's trash. I remember this. Oh! You're not supposed to hit any of these P-switches.
Now that I see all those P-switches, maybe this isn't pre-Mario Maker. I could have sworn that I made this before Mario Maker. I could be wrong. <laughs> Don't even think about doing 7-7. Seven, seven. What the hell is happening right now? <laughs> of course, Tampa. Whoa, man, even for the leaf that even for a task that was smooth. You are seeing a crazy ROM hack that I made a long time ago. This game this game is not I would not recommend anyone play it. Hey, hey, go back and play the level, Tompa. What is this? Little Mario 1-esque part? Lucky. I don't know, judging by the way this level is, I feel like Mario Maker 1 was definitely out. This castle's nuts. Bowser's castle, though, is crazy in this. Nice. A part of why I would never play this ROM hack again is mainly because, like, it's not polished. It's crappy. It's old. It's not overly good at all. A lot of things don't line up very well. A lot of things rely on weird, weird lining up. Like, I don't know, it's weird. I would recommend anyone play Mini Kaizo Bros 3 or Kaizo Mario 3. If you are looking for the hardest Mario 3 challenge, I would pick this one. But if you get very upset at it, you are justified. I don't even know if I had any play testers. Yo, you have to do this with the frog suit. Look at him, just patiently waiting. No, go back! Oh my gosh. Guys, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, and if you're on Twitch, do not forget to hit the follow button. Please subscribe so I can do more videos and show more people. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, you frigs. All right, you guys will see. Look at how messy this boss room is to make it work. It's because it's all water, that's why. Right, you see that? I needed, in order for me to make this frog suit work, I had to put water in here, and this is what the water looks like. And then I had to put tiles here so that you had to swim down up and then fight the boss. And then before the wand drops, you have to swim back and grab the wand. Unfortunately, it looks like ass, but the concept is still good, right? All right, World 8. I can't remember how I made World 8 look. What the fuck? What kind of design is this? This isn't that bad, I guess. The hand stage, okay. I had a little bit of fun with the hand stage. Don't judge me. Nice. Is he frog suiting the whole freaking airship with like P speed? This is godly. What? Nice. I can't remember what the hand stages are. The small Mario intentionally, I think. Apparently this is the level two tile. Why doesn't it say level one? Okay, well, you were not supposed to do any of this, Tompa. You were supposed to get P-Speed so you could see what's above you, but you can't see what's above you. Good job, Tompa. Yay, you did it! You didn't know you get P-Speed in the frog suit? Go to my YouTube and watch my frog suit tats. MFP! 
Yeah, look at that. MFP with the fire flowers. That's the, this is the best part of the ROM hack. You gotta give it to me. I forgot about this actually. All right, Bowser's castle. This, that is the intended way of doing it. That's the intended way of doing it. I'm dead serious. This is also the intended way right now. Yep. This is all intended. Oh, you just made it, Tompa. No, this is a very difficult level. Okay. Nice. Go past water section with the MFP tunnel. Tompa, did you have the clip? Wait, what? What? That's so cool. That is so cool. So you can keep clipping. So the idea behind this Bowser battle is that like, you have to kill Bowser, but you also have to make sure that he unlocks the door, right? Bowser has to break these blocks or else you can't get in here. But the way Tompa did it, oh my God, that's so cool. He clipped here. And remember, lava doesn't damage you. It's just the first top pixel of lava right there. When you touch lava, you die. But if you touch lava anywhere here, you don't die. It's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. Very cool. Oh, swag, swag, swag. Unless you used save states. Congratulations. Thank you for playing. That's the original text of the game. Yep. That's it. That is my first ROM hack I ever made. My goal was to make like one of the hardest Mario 3 ROM hacks, but I think my creativity was there, but my polishing and my overall fairness to the player was missing. It didn't flow super well. So I don't expect people to actually like play through this hack or to do anything, but hope you all enjoyed.